1952 Austin Atlantic, manufactured by the Austin Motor Company between 1949-1952, mainly for ex export only, as the government of the day was virtually bankrupt and wanted motor manufacturers to export to America. I believe they built 8,000 of these, 4,000 were convertibles. How many went to America, Ash? They only sold 300. 300 to America, mainly convertibles. Most remained in the UK, some went to New Zealand and South Africa. This is an extremely rare version. Also, there is no rust in this car. Most of them rotted away with the winters of the 50s and 60s. So it's a true, true survivor. See the colour? They were all made, this is their primer colour, and they never coloured the boots in. So this is a total true survivor because they were never painted. They didn't go up and down, did they? They just flashed, didn't they? They didn't go like that, did they? No. They just stuck out and flashed. They didn't even flash. Didn't they? No. Oh, all right. Out. Commonly known as flippers. Why is this a rare model? Then? Because the the amount left, and if you look at the styling, it was ahead of its time. Um, it did sell well in the United Kingdom, but they just rotted away. So that's why it's a rare survivor. A bit like me. doing here eh? just um bleeding the brakes just adjusting the shoes up okay try that should be up a bit on the pedal now yeah okay right try the handbrake foot brake off foot brake off lovely pull it no that's the f***ing door the bonnet lock where's yeah. the f***ing handbrake <laughs> to your left of the steering wheel there oh, let it ratchet up don't press the button just pull it out Okay, a little off. Okay, it's fine. Right then. See what's stuck and what isn't. So what are you looking for here? Ash? The pistons are seized in the um, slave unit, so you just got to get them out, grease them up, free them up. It's not a part of the weights that you need to replace, is it? Or? No, it's all been done once, all the new rubbers and everything, it's just um, where it's been sitting, that's all. Telephone. Parts of those you just taken out. It's your brake rubbers and brake pistons. Really? I'll take the cap off just in case it's hard bit. Yeah, it's just got shit in the bottom of it. Look at that, original. I thought you were talking about the shit coming out. <laughs> it's original shit coming out. <laughs> it is. That's nineteen sixties shit coming out of there, mate. <laughs> Can you find that bit of welding rod I had, Gordon, that was over on the bench? Tell me if you can try and find something on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> Go and find the beach. You're cleaning and reassembling it. Yeah, I'm just looking for some new seals. I think they'll probably do. So the seals are kind of a universal part? Yeah, as long as they're the right size. See that one, feel the rubber's gone all soft. Whereas the new ones are harder. So whether I've got any of the right size, that one's split. So I'll just try this down the ball. When you're presented with a car like this, which doesn't run, is there like the first thing you check? Yeah, but basically just make sure it's sparking first. Then make sure you're getting fuel. If the wiring works, all good and well, if not, like I say, you have to make it just jury rig it up. You, know, you need a live wire to the coil, out of the coil to the distributor. Make sure it's getting fuel on in, 
try from there. It's the same with every car, pretty, pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. But this one's it's so complete, luckily, it's um, just a matter of going through it all, you know. But it's all, it's all there. And when they talk about an engine being seized, what exactly does that mean? The pistons in the bores, um, normally what does it is the it's had water down the plug holes. So that was left outside with the plugs out of it. Yeah. Water runs down inside, gets in here, and seizes the piston rings or the pistons to the bore. Okay. Um, that's generally what it is if they've just been left outside with water pouring in everywhere, which is what happened to this engine. And freezing, but basically means it's, it's rusted shut. Yeah, it's just move. Yeah, it's just rusted itself solid. And sometimes it can be crank bearings gone, but normally it's just your pistons are seized up. Or if it's had a terminal, like the crankshaft snapped in half or something like that. <laughs> Next week on the workshop. 1963 or 4 Capriolo, it's called. It's got a tower drive. Comes down off of that bevel drive in there. So, as that bevel drive turns on the engine, it turns here and you've got little cam lifters on the top of that bevel drive that open and shut the rocker arms I've never seen one before very unusual isn't it? yeah <laughs>